Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to go over troubleshooting uh, the retaking message that sometimes you'll get. Um, there are a few different causes for that. Um, the first thing what we're going to do is, uh, so you can see what I'm talking about, and I'm going to actually force that message to pop up. Um, go ahead and start a session. And you can hear my camera trying to focus and it's actually impossible for it to focus. It's within the minimum focusing uh, distance for that lens. So I would have to turn it so that the camera's far enough and can focus. So the first thing is, um, I'll put it back so I can show you that a camera that cannot focus will continue to get this retaking message. And what's happening there is The darkroom is sending a command of take a picture to the camera and the camera is replying back with nothing. It actually cannot take a picture because if I hold my camera up and it's too close, you can you can hear it trying to focus. So if you're focusing on a a wall that has no uh, nothing to actually focus on. Um, no texture in the wall, then it that will cause it to fail. If it's too dark and the camera is not able to focus because there's not enough light, that would be another issue. So way, a way to test that out is to switch to manual focus. And we can see right on the edge of this lens is manual focus. If we start it up, now, even though uh, the object in front of it is within that minimum focusing distance. It will stay, take a picture, it's just out of focus. So that's a good way to test to see if that is your issue. The next thing on the list is your um, a USB hub. So if you're using one of these guys and you don't have a powered version that plugs into a wall, a lot of times these might, might be underpowered because of the um, different devices that might be plugged in. They're pulling power through the USB cable from your computer and that's what's powering this. And if there's enough power drawn, it will lose its connection and cause this type of issue. In that situation, uh, you might wanna try plugging the camera directly into the computer and that should help. Um, so, and uh, whenever you run into an issue like this, um, the, the driver can actually become affected. So, uh, after you remove, let's say, the USB hub and plug it directly in to see if that's your problem, restart the computer and then try it out just to allow it to rebuild itself and get everything back to square one. And then the, uh, the other thing, it's kind of like 30, 30, 30, or 30, one third each. Um, the, can be the USB cable. Uh, I have one plugged into my camera. Always keep a backup USB cable. Try not to make sure, this one's a 10 foot. That would be the the, uh, the max length I would recommend. I would try to stay under the six foot, six foot or under. Um, but uh, a shorter USB cable is gonna render better results. Um, once again, because of power, that that power has to travel over that distance and USB does not handle that very well. So the three things we're looking for, make sure the camera can focus, make sure that if you're using a USB hub that it is powered and uh, maybe swap out the hub. I always take uh, an extra one with me just in case because they are helpful. Um, and then the USB cable. Those are the three things I would focus on if you're getting that retake uh, retaking message, but uh, always remember after you make a change, restart the computer to give it a fighting chance to see what could be going on. And then once you figure out what the problem is, it's pretty easy to fix. You just take that out of the equation or in the case of focusing, add more light so it's easier to focus. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, hopefully it helps make uh, some of your events a little less stressful. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.